When we did the 2005 study, we worked with people at the National Energy Technology Laboratory, and um, they had thoughts and ideas, and we had thoughts and ideas, but we kept them up to date on what it is we were doing. We uh, made changes, in course, uh, as one always does, as one gets smarter and deeper into a subject. So they knew what was coming, but when they saw the final report, it shocked them, and it frightened them because the conclusions are robust on the one hand, and they are shocking, and they're very negative. The result is that they didn't know what to do, and a number of people, and there were good people there, just simply didn't know what to do with the report. Finally, it turned out that the director of the laboratory was uh, retiring, and uh, so she signed the report out to go public. And yet, still, it wasn't allowed to go out as a public Department of Energy report because there was pressure to not release it. But it got out, and finally, it was distributed widely. Uh, now, why did that happen? It's because it's the, the messages are real, and they're frightening, and because there were a number of people, particularly in the political arena back in 2005, that uh, saw the dangers of much discussion of this, uh, this particular subject. And I don't want to just pick on the last administration, because this administration is denying the problem also, because there are people that see how difficult and frightening it is, it is and so they have been, in fact, suppressing discussion of, of this problem, which is very unfortunate. And one of the reasons why I want people in the United States to read our book and to get to their congressmen and to their, uh, uh, their representatives, to their senators and to their president and get him to take, get, get them to take the problem seriously.